And welcome back to us in Pokemon Blue, episode 27. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. They appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. So the Clefairies were the ones who were trying to <laughs> destroy all life on Earth by dropping the moon on us, apparently. Peter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer. Wait, so if Brock and Missy go with Ash on, like, his Pokemon anime adventures. Then, like, who, you know, does it just become, like, yeah. Because obviously, um, the 8th gym leader, yeah. I don't know who that is, because technically I don't think we know who he is if you only watch my channel and nothing else. That's generally how I like to do things, is, at least, you know. Sure, I don't like reference, oh, you know, that in the Xenoblade Chronicles until, oh. Blue Ori beat me here, of course he did, how? Because he, he got, yeah, he moved a little forward before me. Oh yeah, I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon I on the match is at the top of the Pokemon. Okay, dude. Changing all the Pokemon matches could be made easier. How dare you. What, you're saying, um, you know, flying types aren't going to be good against a rock? Stop right there, kid! Yes, so light years from facing uh, Brock. Isn't this a rock gym, or is it- No, this is a rock gym. Why do you have a fucking diglet? Because the ground gym is a uh, Viridian City, so... Which is a little weird. You think the- You know, you think Viridian City would be uh, the grass-type gym, but uh, it isn't. Wow, are you serious? Um, 18, 16, 16, 16. Junior trainer. Yeah, I mean, am I not? I don't think I can be Brock. We have to, yeah, we have to train, like, a little more. Wow, okay, yeah, gee, lord. Don't you just love accuracy moves in this series? Okay, thank goodness, this isn't like, uh, I think Mystery Dungeon did this, the first one. Um, where... <coughs> if you... Um... If you, like, uh, if an enemy died to a status effect, it doesn't technically count as you killing the enemy. So you or your team don't get the experience, which is really dumb. 20, 18, 17, 22. Darn, you can't let use this in time. It measures this it measures distance. But you could use it, you can like eh. So with a light year you could technically um chain you could like convert time to distance and distance to time in a way. Yeah, pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
I could make a joke, but that kid's probably like t um, like 12 years old, so how about we don't? Especially considering Brock is an adult, so le yeah, let's not even go there. Okay, that's hmm. I mean, it's serviceable, but What we're gonna want to do is like every single session that I do this, or like yeah, probably every single super session. Oh, yeah. So I know for a fact that I can't beat Brock whatsoever until I at least have a grass move. But let's try anyways, because maybe we'll be able to defeat you. No, maybe. Mm -hmm. The problem is this is gonna be really boring and unfun because we are going to have to use pecs, tackles, and stretches, and nothing else. Cause that's all we know. We don't know any uh, type moves. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why I put one all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. So you remember Ultra Sun? Even though I don't think we got in that point. But where it just randomly, like after a certain, like on a certain island, I think, near that, well, obviously near the end. Like everything just gains like 10 levels. I like how, like, the previous couple of episodes I've been talking about, like, oh, you know, oh, Pokemon Oak, uh, you know, Oak's Challenge, all this stuff. <laughs> Even though we, you know, like, oh, you know, all this stuff I'm talking about is, like, years in the future. You know, the weird thing is we might actually still win this, in a way. Because Leech Sheet is just going to be such a power move for Bulbs that... I don't think about it. Bulbs technically doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, Bulbs doesn't at all exist anymore because I, I've already set it in my Pokemon for, like, the Mystery Dungeon or whatever. Yeah. I use Leech Sheet. Now you will experience the power. Oh my god. The power of dots.
See what I mean? I don't have the ability. Does that soft lock you? That better not soft lock you. We're gonna play to win. Does Leech Shade fall off? Wait. Hmm. Question, does it count Leech Shade? It doesn't, or it might. We're definitely better not doing anything. Yeah, so Lichi doesn't actually count as a damaging move. Oh, yeah, it's two to three. Wow, I don't know if I can consider that cheesy in a way, because, I mean, it is strategy. And it is, I mean, otherwise, you know, we just level up until Bulbs has, like, his first grass-type move. 21, 19, 18, 24. Learn Vine, speaking of. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Boulder dash, well I like it. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's Bear's Pokemon become more powerful. Heat Flash can now be used anytime. Wait, take this with you. You can see things that can be taught to Pokemon. Is it Bide? There only once, so when you use it on to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. And it's bad. Yeah. Well, absorb damage and metal and then pay it back double. I remember seeing like a video thumbnail about how that like almost destroyed the entire Pokemon franchise or something. City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock, winning trainers Blue Zyphrum. Just as I thought, your Pokemon champ material. And let's buy more Pokeballs. Because that's really... Oh yeah, that's also why I didn't talk. Shadow Man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. 
Sell a week and it costs 500 poka. Good things can happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. Hint, hint, to like train Magikarp. And like steamroll the world. All these games are like, um, like code wise stable. Oh, that guy offed himself because I didn't talk to him. Good. <coughs> oh, you looked at me, didn't you? I'm sorry. That's a fight. I feel like, you know, a trainer who learns echolocation, you know. Will be doing much better for themselves. You know, I'm really... Uh... Whenever I see something, I just think about back to like really negative comments and all that stuff I've seen in other videos about like how we should, you know, it's uh, you know they're just weak, you know, for not in uh, um, competitive, for not allowing like evasion strategies, and it's like you know the reason why that they do that is because that's all this battle, uh, you know. Am I gonna win? Am I gonna lose? I uh, probably not. I'm probably gonna lose. Or like everyone's gonna use, you know, max evasionness and then max accuracy down on everyone else. And that's all it'll ever be. Like, yeah. Yeah, I very well could I'm I might be dead. I'm level 9 pitchy because it used sand attack. Well not anymore, but Does this thing know anything else? Yes, because fuck evasion strategies. They're not fun. And like, yeah, there's a hard counter to them, which would be like a foresight or, you know, moves like that. But even then, like, just keep on using it over and over again on all your Pokemon. Till, you know, the Pokemon you're fine. Because, you know, you, you can have, like, multiple moves at lower evasion. So... Because that's what World Championships would be, is because, um, like, objectively, the evasion strategy is the best thing, because, it, you know, you can just make it so your opponent does nothing for, like, a turn. And that, I think, would be infinitely valuable. 22, 21, 19, 25. Because even if you do one damage, oh well, you didn't take anything, so. You know what I mean? What? Did it start playing music over itself? I thought she was gone. Sam, you don't want to fight? Yeah, as if I can control that, mate. Yeah, kid, stop. Sorry, hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. I guess, yeah, I guess, uh, wait, how, how the fuck did you get past, um, that kid who, like, is like a roadblock and stops all, you know, you know, Pewter City, uh, is like, you know, people are starving because that kid won't let people pass who don't have, uh, Brock's gym badge, you know? What's that? I swear I have to like scream directly into the mic for and then it like overblows everything.
I want to see uh, Scratch, chance to Scratch, to miss Gen 1. 1 and Nineteen, eighteen, eighteen, seventeen. Uh, does Weedle not have? Does Weedle canonically not have legs in the first gen? You beat me again! Ah, uh, there are other kinds of Pokemon than those found in the forest. Anyway, so I'm just sitting on to do.